So as we mix the sand with the plaster of Paris, it actually increases the um, rated temperature of the plaster of Paris, so that we can put it in the kiln and melt out our mold here. Uh, yes. Oh, you put it in six. Six. Uh, that's so we can pour the plastic can melt out and the aluminum can pour in. Bubbling up the reaction. Looks like it's not getting too warm. That's good. Yeah, okay, well, it, it's just here. Okay. So, you get it. Okay. okay. It'll. I know it seems like it's a soup, but trust me, it, it won't be this way for long. Okay. Well, that's the sand that's not dissolving. Yeah. Because it's sand. I can't hear very well now. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry if any of you were wearing headphones during that part. <laughs>
Oh. Was that it? No. What's wrong? Initiating the burnout process. Huh. Well, this wasn't exactly a complete success. I think the main reason the mold crumbled was because there was too much water. Next time, uh, I think we might actually just try using clay. And then, I don't know, we'll just see how to proceed from there. We might just try this again with less water. Uh, also... In the welding process, we burnt a hole in the side of the pot. So we're going to have to figure out what to do with there. Also, I just now found out that welding galvanized uh, produces toxic fumes. So don't do that part at home. <laughs>